Scientists at Japanese Research Institute Riken gave a discredited biologist one last chance. They allowed Haruko Obokata to try to verify the existence of what was once hailed as her groundbreaking research. And now they released her, their conclusion about so called stop cells. NHK World's Takafumi Terui reports. The existence of STAP is a question scientists worldwide have been debating for months. Today, the leader of the reproduction experiment team revealed the answer. We've conducted the experiments but failed to verify the STAP phenomenon. Obokata and her team published their work in the journal Nature and drew global attention. They claim to have found a fast and easy way to create embryo-like cells, which can develop into any kind of tissue or organ. But other scientists started questioning her claims. A Riken panel concluded in April the papers involved fabrication and manipulation. Nature also retracted her work. Riken allowed Obokata to start conducting experiments in July to try to reproduce the results she described in her thesis. They gave her a lab equipped with surveillance cameras. Aizawa said Obokata followed her method 48 times, but she failed to reproduce the cells by the end of November deadline. We feel there will be no meaningful outcome to continue with the reproduction experiments, so our institute has decided there won't be any more. Obokata hasn't made a public appearance in month, but wrote a statement saying she will resign. But there is still one question many are asking. Why Obokata was able to publish her thesis in one of the world's most prestigious journals about a method she herself failed to verify? Takahumi Terui, NHK World, Tokyo.